Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Fairway Meet and Grocery Post Game Show back at RL Hellier Field on Go Hills TV, powered by JBS. I'm Dwayne Cook, and a much more on level here, Coach <laughs> Reyes, joining us now for post game. After we we heard the comments, and we have made the adjustments here for the second time at home this year, <laughs> Coach. Let's discuss this doubleheader here today. We won't spend a whole lot of time on Game One; it's not important. But one thing about Game One, I thought that you were probably happy with, is the resolve your team showed. Falling behind at four unanswered out of the gate for Southeastern, come back. <laughs> score five and then ultimately you know they have the big two run shot in the top of the seventh that's the difference but had to like that yeah no it was good I was a good way to respond honestly that's been those close games that we've had and just kind of figuring out a couple mm -hmm. things um, we knew southeastern was going to be tough that's definitely you sure. know, a big rival for our entire school um, it was just controlling some of that emotion and bouncing back obviously one pitch kind of makes a little bit of a difference but I give them credit on that and I know obviously we play them two more times here so it'll be good for us but it was a good way to respond what was the the message post game to the girls I mean taking a tough loss like that where you, you use up so much energy just to kind of keep working your way back obviously I mean whatever you said it worked with game two yeah we kind of had to light that fire a little bit yeah. just because we we're, were just missing it was just making sure we keep everyone kind of engaged and just a couple small things or one more strikeout just kind of balancing mm -hmm. those things out so it really just came down to approach and we kind of just joked around because Sarah Reed's mom made a bunch of made right sandwiches uh -huh. I was like maybe it was just a little bit of the made right a little bit of maybe. fire something of the balance but I just feel like we actually played our game and had fun and that's just who we are we didn't let that hostility get to us but we've been like that all season it's mm -hmm. just really close games game one and then <laughs> we come back and decide to hit the crap out of the ball. Sure. So. <laughs> well, you know, at least they decide that for the second half. You know, you'd yeah. like to see it uh, across the two, I'm sure, obviously. Yeah. But, you know, going back to game one, you had a pitcher that we didn't know a whole lot about, obviously, too, with Rivas. She had, yeah. she had been hadn't pitched all year so mm -hmm. there's a little bit of an adjustment period that comes with that there's not a whole lot of scouting to do yeah. on that something kind of surprised you coming out to today yeah absolutely we didn't I mean I wasn't expecting right. that the other ones we I know a little bit about I've seen them play uh, mostly Iowa kids and kind of that mixture mm -hmm. too um, honestly she was she spun it well I think it was just being us getting on our toes a little bit but I think sure. you know we see her again we become a little bit more selective jump on pitches we want but she pitched a good game I mean we fought right there and I mean that's the nature of the competition so I think it was good for us you you had the knack today for pinch hitters, though, didn't you? I mean, twice you go to the, you make make the call to the the dugout, and, and both leave the yard. You know, Julia had the big two run shot to tie it up at four in game one, and then you know Ava just has one that never stopped. It looked yeah. like a pop up to right. It yeah. just it just shows the raw power that she has. Oh yeah, she is so strong. It's just a matter of just consistency with a couple of those bats, and Jenna Lemley's also in that mix where sure. they they swing it hard, and it's just a matter of consistency. But I think sometimes putting them on the spot and just kind of seeing their adjustments, they did a good job. So it was fun to. See see them kind of counteract in sure. game one to game two. So. Absolutely. <laughs> Our Scooters Coffee player of the game for game two was Tatum Aragon, left the yard twice, and those were her first two home runs of the year. I know yeah. game one probably didn't like for herself, probably didn't like the way that she approached the pitching with Rivas and Clark the first go around, but she made up for it a big way in game two. Yeah, I think she just was trying to find her timing a little bit. She's been our doubles hitter mostly, obviously, yeah. this season. She's done a really good job. She was due for it, honestly. Mm -hmm. She's been she's been just there, and she's one where if one game gets her, she's she finds a way, wait, you right. know, game two, however she works about it. So she did a really good job, so it was good. Pitching-wise today, I know, as you said, Southeastern can really swing it. They had a lot of long balls today themselves mm -hmm. as well. Summers had a couple, so did Vash. Mm -hmm. And two that can really, you know, again, they, they handle the stick very well. And mm -hmm. so with that, you know, what's kind of the chat with Ashlyn and with Sarah about those home runs given up? It's kind of just reading where we were in the count in a couple because there was two times that we were ahead in the count mm -hmm. and just kind of adjusting and making sure that we're still spinning around the zone. Um, but if we can hit like that and kind of work their pitchers a little bit more, I think we can work through a couple tough situations. I know Ashlyn especially has been through some really, really tough games mm -hmm. of one to two run losses and bang, bang. But she knows it. She responded well in the dugout. And I I think that just shows seeing her not be upset, just kind of how we responded to. So, got a little bit of a break here. The next game's not till April 2nd, so you've got all next week, unless something, I mean, you know, you never know with scheduling, right? How that works. If it's a good day, we may play. But either way, with going into the next week here of knowing you've got some time here to work on some little things, what are some of those things you want the girls to work on? I think it's just jumping ahead on pitches. I think sometimes we just be, we watch a little bit, but sure. I think just getting our pitchers and the, you know, the couple others that haven't seen as many innings, just kind of getting them in the mix, pitching mm -hmm. live, getting them some of that confidence. Um, it was good to see some different approaches today, so just a matter of jumping on those Eva folks one that I there wasn't a time she I feel like she wasn't on base today right. um so it was just fun and just kind of getting a little bit of consistency with some of them but 
honestly hitting, just keeping ourselves conditioned, working through a couple things, keeping them healthy. So it stinks. I wish we were playing this week, but yeah. it'll just be a good way to kind of dissect, breathe, and kind of reset ourselves going into the next weeks. We do play a lot the following week. Yeah, so. absolutely. And how about, final question to you, how about the, the crowd that showed up today? I mean, it's not a nice day to be yeah. out of the park, really, with it being cold and windy and mm-hmm. everything, but it, there were folks all over the place. I know that gets the girls fired up. It's got to get you fired up, too, as a coach to, to see that kind of support. Yes, we love having the fans and families around. It was good to see other coaches and other student athletes mm-hmm. here, too. I mean, our girls are always around with other sports, so it's nice that that feeling's reciprocated a little bit, but I think it's just fun kind of hearing, I don't know, just the support a little bit since sure. we've been away so much. So we definitely needed that, and I think it was a good way to respond, kind of having that behind us as well. So Good deal. Yeah. The Warriors split two today against the visiting Southeastern Blackhawks. Game one goes to SCC. Game two, big way to bounce back, 14-6 for your Warriors who improved to now 16-12 and 12 on the season. For Coach Reyos, I'm Dwayne Cook. You've been watching the Fairway Meet and Grocery Post Game Show on Go Hills TV, powered by JBS. <laughs>